Not enough. Never enough. On this problem, right? Okay. On this problem, it says to find the zeros. So remember, when we're trying to find the zeros of a function, that's when our x values, our input value, is equal to zero, um, is going to make our output equal to zero. So we're going to say that's when f of x equals zero. So we need to find what values are going to make our function, our output equal to zero. So if I say I want to figure out the x values when f of x equals zero, I'm going to plug zero in for x squared minus 9x plus 14 all over 4x. So now we have this kind of a crazy expression over here. We have It's a rational expression. We have a trinomial up top. And we have another term on the bottom. So how do we, when we to get rid of a rational um, expression, we can always look at, well, if we multiply by what's on the bottom, that's going to cancel out to 1. And we can get rid of our fraction or our rational expression. So I'm going to multiply by 4x on both sides. And thankfully, we only have a 0 on this left side. Because we know 4x times 0, this is going to give us 0. So we got rid of that. That cancels to 1. So we're just left with x squared minus 9x plus 14. You know, you could say over 1, but we don't need to worry about it. So now we need to find the x values. Wait. Yes. Did you multiply? Multiply. x times x squared minus. No, well, you do. But look, the way that we get around it is I, when I, before I can multiply it, right? Yep. It's like this. Right? Before I get to multiply it, I can divide these out. It's the same thing like this. Right? What happens? The threes cancel out, correct? So we're just left x plus one. <coughs> same thing here. Since I multiply before rex, those cancel out before I have to multiply it. So I, I luck out. Because it equals one, right? Right, exactly. So now I'm looking at these two values and I say, all right, I need to find the value of one x. Well, I have an x squared and I have a negative nine x plus a 14. So we can't just solve for x, yes? Negative 7, negative 2, x. So I'm going to look to factoring it as a yes. set of linear factors. So I say 0 equals, and if you look at your factoring, you can factor in the two binomials of x minus 7 times x minus 2. Very good. Then I can say, all right, now I've got to solve for x for each one of those. So you say x minus 7 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 7, and x equals 2. So therefore, those, those two values make my function 0, so they're going to provide me um, they're going to provide me the zeros of my equation. All right? So just remember when they say find the zeros, you need to find the values of x when your function is equal to 0. Okay, any other questions? Yes? Is x also 0 because if you multiply 4 times 0 on the denominator, this makes the whole thing 0? I mean, would that be um, zero zero? <laughs> uh, I guess. Now do you know why I put in that constraint? Yeah. Well, because be careful. Remember, if you put in a 0 on the bottom, then you're going to be dividing by 0, right? So can you divide by 0? No. So. Everything would be true in this except for multiplying by zero because you actually can't divide by zero. You can't, multi you can't have x equals zero because the fact of it would be undefined at zero because you can't um, divide by zero. All right.